Hello. Underwater themes, and particularly mermaids, are a perennial favourite for, for little girls' parties, but increasingly for adults as well. And whilst the mermaid tale itself is relatively simple to create, um, sometimes it's nice to add some extra detail. The, the, the devil is always in the detail. So the more interesting little things you can add to your design, the more value you'll get. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you a couple of um, different ways of enhancing the design with some extra bits and bobs. Um, so the first thing is a small clamshell that we can make. It's a very simple make with a 260. Um, so inflate your 260 about halfway. Um, sometimes it all works with one balloon, sometimes you may need to add another. But what we're going to do is to put three pinch twists into the balloon initially. This is a Sempertex satin pink 260. Um, the satins work particularly well for clamshells, but you can do it with any of them. Pinch twist in the end. We do three of these, one after the other. And this will form the base of the shell and basically the, the part that will support and hold everything else together. So we just arrange the, the pinch twists like that, one, two, three, and then the rest of the balloon there. If we just squeeze to soften it. And now we're going to put a series of, of loops, loop twists in. So the first one will be around about a hand's width, about four inches twist and then twist again and lock it into the pinch twists like so. Then either side of this we need slightly shorter ones so again get squeezed to soften it. So now about three inches, one, two, lock it into the pinch twist and then onto the other side squeeze, three inch twist, and the same again, and lock it into the pinch twist there. And I'm not going to be able to complete it with the single balloon on this occasion, which is fine. We now need to put a smaller twist again on either side. So this time one about two inches long, one there, and I'll just use this piece of the balloon as it is, wrap that through so that it doesn't come undone. So there's a central one, one on the other side, one on this side, we now need one on this side so I'll just add in the second balloon that I've prepared, pull the knot through, wrap it round and then two inch twist and lock it into the pinch. Oops, okay, don't panic, everything's fine. Now had that not happened, I would have deflated that end piece and used it for the next section. But as we just lost that, I'm going to add in an uninflated balloon. Um, I'm using a 160 here, but the, the end of the 260 would have been absolutely fine. Pull it all in. And then this balloon is what's going to hold it all together and turn it into a clamshell. So arrange your bubbles how you want them and then pull tight and just take it across the top of each of the bubbles and then wrap it through. And then we can arrange these to complete the shell. So it's actually really very simple and the the end of the balloon or the additional one that we just added in is what keeps the 
balloons together and creates the clamshell shape. So make several of those and just add them into your design wherever you want them to be. Another really simple thing that we can use is to make some coral. Again, out of 260s, this time I'm using Reflex. Um, and I'm going to make a bubble chain. I've inflated it halfway. There is another, or several other videos, in fact, on the Decorator Hub that will explain this in a little more detail. Um, just click on the, the, the big button on the homepage of amscan.co.uk. But quite simply, if you inflate your balloon halfway, you should more or less manage to use the entire balloon before you know without leaving any uninflated or, or running out we'll see sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't put a, a bubble in the end always twist in the same direction once you have two or three don't let go of the end once you have two or three then you can start to roll it now i find it quite hard work to twist continually so i like to just twist a little bit and then roll it to put each bubble in place. It's a lot easier on the hands and a lot quicker. And normally when you're making a bubble chain, you absolutely make sure that you never let go of either end. And it's very frustrating if you happen to do that by accident because the whole thing untwists. However, when you're making coral for an underwater or mermaid theme, it actually doesn't matter. You still want to get to the end, if you can, without losing any twists. There we go. That one worked perfectly, all the way to the end. Nice chain of bubbles. Now we let go deliberately. Because what we've now got is this crinkly effect all the way down. And if you get two or three of those in different colours and just bend them in half with an uninflated balloon tied around which then can be hidden in amongst the rest of the design you've got really cool coral sea anemone underwater kind of effect and it matters not at all that the ends are slightly different it all really works well so that's very simple just as an aside and nothing to do with balloons a little bit of coral here that we've made um, this was a lot of fun this is made out of expanding insulation foam that stuff you buy to fill gaps around doors and window frames it comes in a can and if you just lay out a plastic sheet with a table cover, something like that, on the floor and then use your can to squirt whatever shape you like, it all expands into these fascinating shapes and bubbles and everything else which can then be spray painted and glittered and makes absolutely stunning coral of whatever size or shape you fancy. Um, if you put a, a pole, perhaps the, the central pole from a, um, a lamp stand down first and spray over it then you'll be able to screw that into the base and it will support itself so another little little sort of tip there that works brilliantly well and then the last bit that i want to do is to make some fish and i'm going to use the sequin foils these are standard foils printed with a sequin pattern in various colors but if you look at them closely, once, let's take one out of the packet, you'll see. Look at it closely, you'll see that the sequins, which obviously is designed to be this way up, if you turn the balloon on its side, they look like fish scales. So we're going to take advantage of that and use those scales to make our fish. Now, you can use the balloon just as it is. To, for brightly coloured, very shiny fish. But I want something a little bit more subtle. So I'm going to stuff that balloon into a latex balloon. And this is a Sempertex 18 inch satin pearl. 
Now pearl is a colour that is seriously underrated. It looks like a white balloon, um, but it, it, just on its own sometimes it can look a bit thin, um, rather translucent and transparent. Well it's that translucency that really makes the difference when it comes to using it as an, the outer layer of double stuffing. So I'm going to inflate the balloon big. Hold it for a second, soften it, let it down. And then I'll just do that again to make sure that it is properly stretched. And then roll the foil. So we're going to roll it this way lengthwise and then fold it a couple of times to make it easy to stuff inside the latex balloon. Open up the latex balloon, poke the foil inside and make sure that the neck is not twisted and then we can reinflate the latex partly so that the foil has enough room to expand um, and then I'm going to change the end that's the one I want I want the high pressure one uh, I've got to be a little bit careful they want the high pressure end because I need the foil to be really tightly inflated. Get that into the opening here. You can see it, you can see it unraveling inside, unfolding. Need a bit of a shake if necessary. I think I've got a small twist in the neck there. I'll just fathom, just sort that out. Go back in. Okay, usually it works fine. It doesn't matter. Sometimes it's good for things to not go perfectly to plan. There we go. I've just been able to get in there. Now we're okay. And inflate your foil till it's nice and tight, but not so tight that you're going to burst it. Now we've got that inflated, we can deflate the latex onto it. And just push your hands over the balloon, just to make sure that all the air comes out of the latex balloon. So you've got a nice tight connection and there we go so there's the body of our fish much more subtle a bit more iridescent really nice so now we need to create the fish itself two 260s I'm using the reflex blue and I'm going to tie the ends together these are almost all the way inflated but not quite we need a little bit of room to twist Tie the ends together. You put a, a loop twist in the end. The loop twist is what it says really. We're going to make a loop and twist the ends of those loops together. So it's about three inches. Twist there. Put one in one balloon and one in the other. that will create the the lips at the front of the fish and then it's a simple matter to put them opposite the neck of the balloon stretch the 260 around the balloon 
And this is another good reason for, for covering the foil with latex because it enables these the 260s here to grip. Um, without that, it would be sliding all over the place and it's quite difficult to keep it down. Once you get it this end here, keep the tension and make sure that you twist it right opposite the neck, like so. We can just then adjust these so that they sit properly along the seam of the foil. This neck here, we're going to pull it through the twists and just tuck it away because that will hide in a minute. We now need to put in a pinch twist here to fill in either side, just a small one. And one in the other side. And two more. One there. And one there. And we can then deflate the remainder of the 260s and just make sure that they're tied off so that nothing goes down. Right, so we have four pinch twists here which cover up the gap either side and the two at the front which make the lips. Now we need a tail. So a reflex heart would look fantastic there, but the 14-inch uh, reflex hearts that we have are too big. So we're going to use a 5-inch reflex blue. Blow it a few times to stretch it. I'm going to do it a third time. So it's really quite large and very soft. And then into that I'm going to put a six inch white heart. And just open that out, tuck the heart inside. And then inflate the heart. So basically what we're going to do is cover the white heart with the reflex blue to create the tail of the fish. Tie it off and twist it into the pinch twists that we made earlier. And there's the tail of the fish and last bit of detail is just to add the eyes so these are the five inch eye top prints and we want to just inflate those quite small squeeze the air up to increase the size of the the eye print there tie it off get another one Do the same. Try and get them as close to identical as possible. You'll get some quite interesting characters showing through in your fish um, just by the, the size of the eyes. Tie the two together and remove the unwanted neck. So we've got a little bit of stretch between them and we can then tuck that under there and position it wherever you like.
little bit of straightening up and there we have a really cool fish that we can add to the design and obviously these balloons come in all sorts of different colours so we can make a whole rainbow collection of different fish. So with our foam coral and our foil fish, our 260 corals and our clamshells we've now got a nice collection of extra details that we can add to the overall design. And so here's the finished design, everything put together. Um, we've had to move out of the studio into the showroom because it's a little bit too big. Um, but it's, it's a little bit different. Um, what we've cho chosen to do is to use two merfolk instead of just the one. So we've got a merman and a mermaid in the blues and the greens and the pinks and the peaches. Um, and then we've added in the fish and the little clam shells and the corals up either side to create the total theme. The colours are all double stuffed here in the tails, all inside satin pearl. So we've got um, satin fuchsia, we've got fashion peach blush, we've got reflex pink, we've got um, satin rose I think and pastel matte pink here and then we have um, fashion navy blue, Sat um, reflex lilac, we've got um, aquamarine, fashion aquamarine, reflex lime green and reflex blue in here but the, the softening effect is created by stuffing them all inside the satin pearl balloons which we've also used down below with some grey for the bubbles and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs>